Hey everybody, Johnny Hawthorne here at the Exotic Booth, NAM 2020, with Scott Henderson. Thanks, Scott, for coming by the My booth. My pleasure. Hi, everybody. Uh, Scott's been a long time exotic in Dorsey, especially for his RC boost, or rather his Scott Henderson RC boost, which we've done a couple of um, special editions. Yeah. Um, Tell me uh, first about um, some what you've been doing. You've been touring anywhere? You've been playing anywhere? We've been touring a lot. Um, the, our new album, People Mover, came out um, in July. So since then, we've had two tours. We went to South America for like three weeks, went to Asia for about three weeks, and then we're doing, uh, and Europe. But it was a short tour in Europe, and we're doing a longer one in May. Okay, so, so you're yeah. heading out on the road? A lot of road work, yeah. Do you do a lot complain. of festivals in the summertime? Yeah, we actually did all festivals okay. last summer, and in, in mostly in Italy, because there's more, for some reason, there's more festivals in Italy, but we did the Larvik Jazz Guitar Festival in Norway, Right. but there's, a, there's more in Italy than anywhere else, yeah. Excellent. So you'll be out there this spring and summer? Yeah, for sure. Somewhere. Um, in town here in L.A., you basically play the baked potato? Yeah, the reason for that is the, the, the rhythm section I'm using, they live in Paris, Wow. So they usually only come out for NAM. They might come out in April, so if they do, I'll book some gigs in LA, you know, while they're here. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. And uh, let's talk about the RC Booster. It's been part of your rig for many, many years now. Um, primarily, what do you use that pedal for? Everything. Everything. It's, it's almost always on. Yeah. So it's your leave on. It's my desert island pedal. <laughs> there you go. I mean, when I'm one of those kind of old school type of guys that likes to play through one channel amps because I believe that when you split the amp into two channels you have to go through a buffer it completely changes the tone of the amp so I really like one channel amps so I, I kind of have to do both missions chords and you know and soloing with one and the RC booster especially the new double channel one it's great because the clean channel is beautiful for chords. If you turn your guitar up to 10, you have a, 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 enough gain for soloing if the amp's a little crunchy, but you can turn your guitar down and it's nice and clean and sounds great. Right. And then you add the second channel and you've got some gain, you know, right. it's nice. So, all right, so finally, um, I'm asking all the uh, uh, exotic users, what does exotic mean to you? Uh, like when I say, you know, exotic, does it mean tone? Does it mean quality? All the above. I mean, you know, I've been working with Toshio for a long time in Kyoshi, and they've really kind of bent over backwards to help me find something that really works for me. And I, I feel very fortunate that what works for me has worked for a lot of other people too. And, and I think as long as we keep the idea that a pedal needs to be transparent and not mask the tone of the amp or the guitar, we're heading in the right direction. And, and that's, that's, that's the gist of it right there. Because people want something that doesn't like add a whole different, different color to their sound. And I'm not talking about um, just in one particular instance. Like if you're recording, of course you want pedals that add many colors. But I'm talking about like for your main sound, the sound that makes you the most comfortable to play solos and to play and to be yourself. And when you find that sound, when you play through something else, it's like your sound is broken. Right, right. And I've been using the RC Booster for so many years and playing live with it and recording with it that if I don't have it, it feels like my tone is broken. Right, right, you know? right. Even though I do use other bo boosters and, and, you know, for some, for some parts or sections of my music, I'll go to some other booster that gives me a completely different flavor because I don't want all the songs to sound the same. Sure. But the... You know, I don't have a pedal board. You know, I'm, I'm a touring musician, so I have to keep my pedal board nice and small so I can travel with it. And I don't have room for a, a lot of different colors of boosters. I get, I get a boost, a high gain pedal, an Octavia, a chorus, a fuzz. That's about it. Right. You know, and um, so yeah, the RC booster has been a part of that for a long, long time. Right. And uh, yeah, and it, it, it will be. All right. <laughs> well, cool. Thanks so much for yeah, giving us and stopping my by pleasure. the booth. And uh, check out Scott Anderson. He'll be playing, hopefully, in a town near you. And uh, you have a website, Scott Anderson? Yeah, scotthenderson.net. All the tour dates are always on there. And 
any kind of news, you can buy the album there. And yeah, okay, yeah. excellent. All right, you guys. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you later, Scott, Johnny.